So let's go over some of the many challenges that notaries face. Some, most of the challenges that I hear that notaries go through is this, how do I get clients, right? How do I get clients? We're going to go over that. Um, how do I get high paying clients? Now, big difference, right? You could get clients all day, but if all the clients are expecting you to do a notarization for a dollar, I don't think that's where you want to end up. You want some high paying clients where they're willing to spend a hundred, a hundred plus dollars for your notarizations and you get paid immediately. Um, how do I market my business? How do I work with more title and escrow companies? How do I notarize certain documents? Um, this is that's important too, but a lot of to be honest with you, a lot of these documents you could find it on YouTube on how to close them. You know, like I remember going to a customer's house and she needed an I9. I never did an I9 form before, and I jumped on YouTube and I learned how to uh, notarize a, a I9 form in a matter of minutes. So that type of stuff you can find online. You can find online. Um, how do I schedule, how do I schedule appointments around my full-time job? This is a big one because a lot of people do have full-time jobs and they still want to be able to, um, make extra income so they can start stepping away from this full-time job and be 100% entrepreneur. Uh, how do I price my services? This is probably the biggest one on the whole list. Believe it or not, most notaries out there do not know how to price themselves correctly. Um, so I show you guys how to price yourselves and price your services so you can make this money right. Um, what do I say when someone calls about my services? I can tell you as a notary agency, many times I will call for a notary and they just answer the phone, hello? And that is not the most professional way for you to answer a call, especially if you are a notary business. They don't have a call script. They don't have um, they don't have a professional greeting at all. So yeah, that's not the that's not where you want to be. That's not how you want to grow your business. And then a, a next one is how do I start a notary agency? So money rewards speed. Money rewards speed. Jaw war. So I got a question for you guys. Again, this is a this is a live interactive workshop. So I need participation to help you guys understand what industry you're jumping into. So when it comes to this question, I need to know something from you guys. Which one do you want to be in the notary industry? Do you want to be Target or do you want to be known as a Walmart? Type it in the chat section, please. Okay, so L, L Tor, we got Target, B Smith, we got Target, Tiffany, we got Target, oh, go ahead, you guys, Monique, we got Target, now this brings a, a smile to my face, Rose says Target, ah, uh, nah, Sharon, you can't do that, nah, Tiffany, you can't do that either, fam, Sharon said both, no, <laughs> and nobody says Amazon. I know there's somebody on there that would be like, I want to be an Amazon. Tiffany said Macy's. Macy's ain't even one of the choices. <laughs> you got to pick a target or oh, Walmart. She said Macy's. Why stop there? Go go, go to Bloomingdale's. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Um. Target is value driven. Walmart is price driven. So let me explain to you what that means in the notary industry. So that is a picture of Walmart at the bottom that you guys see here. And as you can see, those prices are huge. They're big as hell. They're telling you $642 for this, $897 for this. If you really look all the way down, you can see the price all the way down the aisle. Um, now, so how does that translate to the notary business? That is a person that calls you and you are literally competing on price. 
Oh, somebody gave you a price of $20. We'll do it for you for $18 or $15. You're competing on price. I never, never, never recommend that because somebody will price you out of business for sure. You'll never be the, the lowest. You'll never be the cheapest. That is not the way I teach. I don't teach the Walmart business model. I don't want you to be the cheapest in the game. I want you to be the most, actually, you know, I want you to be pretty expensive because you get a higher quality of clients, you reach different demographics, and you have way more opportunities to move. It doesn't take you 10 clients to make $100. It takes you two clients or one client to make $100. So I'd rather you work less and make more. That makes sense? So with Target, Target is more value-driven, meaning Target will present different type of products that you cannot find anywhere else. They provide different type of service that you can't find anywhere else. And then they will price accordingly. So if you were at to target tonight, you would notice that they do not have big prices like this at all. Their prices are very small because they're not price driven. I had a chance to talk to one of the marketing directors at Walmart, and he said that target reaches a different economic pool, a different demographics of people. So people that make um, $30,000, $34,000 and up, that's who Target targets. Uh, Walmart will go from, you know, $30,000 and below because they are more price driven. So we, they literally make a conscious decision to be prices driven people they want price driven people unless you're getting it in bulk like walmart and costco and sam's club like that you don't want to be that you don't want to play in that arena okay so good 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 answers by the way let's see here yeah quality versus quantity absolutely absolutely all right okay. hey guys my name is ishmael I am the owner of Mantra Notary Services. Um, I operate a fully mobile notary service here in Massachusetts. And I just wanted to take this time out to show my appreciation for Tiger. Um, I met Tiger less than a year ago and he's been absolutely amazing. He's been supportive. He's been educating. He's been motivating. So for those of you who are watching this and you are contemplating whether or not you should be following this content or putting anything into um, into action. I highly recommend that you, I highly recommend his services. I highly recommend his books. I have one right here, Rise of the Smart Notary. It's an absolute must read for every new notary. Even if you've been in the notary industry for a while, there's so many things in here that you can learn. And what I like about it is how straightforward it is. Now, he's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's not one of those guys. So I think that's one reason why I gravitate towards him. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely highly recommend him. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out to him. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me as well. And let's get this show on the road. Wish you guys much success.